He is. Knocked him down with the first shot. He looked like he might crawl away. Hit him with a second. Waited a few seconds. And then uh, put him out of his misery with a third. But uh, what happened was I was doing some electric over here. See that door? I was under the deck there. I just glanced out between the boards and saw him. He was in the sun at that moment about 10 minutes ago. So I showed up really easy. I go, son of a gun, that bastard's out there. And I couldn't come up on the deck, so I went out the back underneath over to the basement. Luckily, I had that door unlocked. Went in there, went upstairs, grabbed the gun, which was ready to go. Came out here, and I know how wary he is. So rather than pop my head out, I got down on the ground, and I scooted out without the gun. And just right in the corner there, tried to get my eye where I could see out. And I did. I thought I did a good job of it. But that bastard saw me. He caught my head popping out, and he ran right in. But I, I took the opportunity. To, he was in the brush, and I scooted out here real careful, got in the chair, figured I'd wait a couple minutes to see if he came out darn if he didn't come back out but he was looking over here and I was smart enough to get the gun up and aimed and everything ready to go just in case he came out so I didn't have to move at all and he took about three four steps out and I nailed him on his way out and uh, what he's doing is he's he's eating his stuff I don't know if we can see it from here I've been putting some fruit and stuff out there for him Otherwise, he not, there it is right there. You can see that. I think that's a banana peel. I put some peppers out there. and I'm sorry, I got the wrong side. No, you can't see it from here, I don't think. I don't see it. It's in the shade. But how about eight or ten yards, I put a few morsels for him several times now. And uh, he was eating it behind my house. But... um since he blew me up over here, I haven't seen him behind my shed anymore. But uh, there he is. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go over there and grab him and weigh him, just for the hell of it. Take a couple pictures, and so I can next time I see the young lady over there, I can brag and show her that I murdered the bastard, and uh, she'll be happy. Her flowers will be happy, and I'm happy. And now you are too, Mr. Ryan. Catch you later. Hey, Mr. Ryan. Thought you might be interested in this. The, uh... Haven't had any luck catching that woodchuck out. He's really, really wary, and he kind of blew up my little blind here. Even before I put it up, he was watching me, but real careful. But uh, I got lucky today. Well, there he is. Hit him three times right within about an inch. If you can see that, but of course the blood's in the way. But I knew I hit him each time. He flinched. He f he, f he went right down the first shot. But uh, and that that is 50 yards plus or minus about two yards. Maybe not even. But uh. See how long he is. He's pretty chubby. Chubby guy. Let's 
see. He's 20, about 20 inches to his t beginning of his tail. He did suffer. That's three shots in five seconds, probably. First two, like I said, I'm pretty sure he was on his way to heaven. I think he went to heaven. Flies aren't wasting any time. I'm going to bury him. Um, probably ought to bury him right in his own hole. That'd be a good spot for him. I don't know, maybe. I'd like to weigh him, though. Huh. He's over 10 pounds. Yeah, he's definitely over 10 pounds. Okay, time to bury him.